Well, Taro brings a great two-way game. I mean, everybody sees him for his offense, but he's real responsible in his defensive zone as well. Uh, Taro plays hard in any situation. I mean, he's not the biggest guy, but his heart's big, and he competes real hard. So again, when you have when you have a guy that has a tremendous work ethic, also with some skill, you got a pretty dynamite player. And, uh, he's been that for us so far this season as well. Uh, well, I had 50 points, so I thought it went really well for me. I uh, had a good spot on the team. I thought I played a, an important role on the team, which was something that was really important to me coming into my rookie season. Um, well, I think it's just like I learned a lot from our older guys last year that you just got to come in every day, focus mindset, and work hard every day on and off the ice. And I think this year I'm going to try to set that example again for our rookies. Yeah, it's definitely uh, it's a little easier because I'm more used to it now. It's nice. It's a lot different from Calgary, big city, but this is a small town. Everyone, it's nice to you're walking down the street and someone will recognize you as a silverback. So that's definitely always something fun to see. It's hard to not make the playoffs. You go home and you go home early, and a lot of your friends are still playing. But I think looking back on it, like that was really something special, and I think we're trying to do the same thing again this year. Uh, well, I was working on a lot of my strength, a lot of my leg strength, and uh, I was working out four times a week, yoga's on Wednesdays, and then I was skating three to five times a week. I think this year so far we've just been uh, bearing down like when it comes down to third periods and it's a close game, we're coming up with that one goal that's going to put us ahead and that's really been big for us. Um, well, I think it's just we got to take it game by game. Uh, all the veterans know that last year those couple of losses or an overtime loss, one point, that'll, that'll count in the end. So I think we're just going to try to take it game by game and yeah, pretty much. Uh, well, we're definitely always thinking about it and I'm really excited to, to be a Spartan. And uh, yeah, it's always in the back of your mind, but you try not to think about it too much. Uh, biggest goal is just for me to make the playoffs and then uh, play as long as I can, so that's the main goal. Individual goals will come after that. Time now for 10 random questions with number 17, Tara Horosi. And off the top, why do you wear number 17? Uh, nothing special, but uh, when I was in Bantam, I was a rookie and I just, we always picked our numbers and I was in the room, I wasn't sure what I wanted and 17 came up and I asked for it and the captain wanted it too, but he gave it to me, so that's sort of just like stuck with that number the whole time. Favorite TV show right now? Uh, probably Suits. Favorite superhero? <sighs> probably have to go with uh, Spider-Man. I'm a Spider-Man fan, yeah, for sure. Which meal do you never skip? Uh, definitely dinner. Favorite breakfast cereal? <sighs> captain Crunch. The captain. Uh, favorite team to play against anywhere? BCHL, maybe when you're playing minor hockey, favorite team to beat or play against? Uh, I love to play Penticton. A lot of people like playing Penticton. Who do you think is the team to beat this year in the BCHL? Uh, so far, I'd say it'd have to be Wenatchee. A lot of talk about that team. Uh, pop or chocolate milk? Uh, I love a good Coke, but I have to go with chocolate milk. When you're not playing hockey, what are you doing? Uh, probably sleeping. You hockey players, you get your sleep. And what's one thing you always take on the road? Uh, definitely my Beats headphones. Nice. And you are? Uh, Tarhirosi, number 17 for the Salmon Arm Silverback.